I have cherished the ideal of a democratic and free society in which all persons live together in harmony and with equal opportunities. It is an ideal which I hope to live and to achieve. But if needs be, it is an ideal for which I am prepared to die, to die, to die. In the 80s, I got, I got the courage enough to say, well, if other people, you know, have died uh, talking about him, then as a musician, I have a responsibility and uh, I would like to write a song. Mandela, so and and this song was actually banned in 1987 when you released it. Yes, it was. It because was, Nelson Mandela was still in prison and still couldn't in prison, be quoted. Could not be quoted and could not be spoken about or for whatever reason. This inspired a generation, this song, didn't it? Yes, yes. It was one of the... I, I, I think this is one song that actually uh, aroused people's conscious, as consciousness, especially in Europe. Because once people started hearing, especially young people, who at that time did not know who Nelson Mandela was. Johnny Clegg wrote a song called Simbonanga, which means we haven't, haven't seen, seen him. him. We haven't seen Nelson Mandela. You know, I think what Johnny was questioning was, we haven't seen him, we don't know him, we haven't heard him, so we need to have an opinion about him so that uh, the reasons he's in prison for, we can understand. He always interacted easily with the musicians, where if he loved a song, he would stand up. And where else in the world would you find a president like that? But Nelson Mandela inspired so many. You know, he was such an inspiration that for us, he was not even the president. He was one of us. Oh, oh, oh. 